Of course you're out here. Do you know that the cell phone is actually a camera? She must know. Hi everybody, it is Robbie from Southern California. I don't know if you can see me. I'll turn it for a second because I don't know I'm working on my phone right now. I'm just going to do an update on the deck because I'm changing it. I came out here this morning and I was working and working on it and I took one look at it and I thought, no, this isn't working. I want to be able to do things and get things growing that I want all winter and then go into, of course, spring and summer. So I said, Gary, it's it. The swing can go. The swing is old. I really do like the swing. Bought it a while ago, but here's the thing. It is falling apart. So he took it all apart and he told me, oh no, this is frozen. He's going to have to really work on it. See, he brought out the WD-40 and he couldn't get it. And I said, wait a minute. I like that leave it right now because I can use it. It's not actually in my way. Just have to clean up all this stuff. And I hope that you're gonna see in the next week or two a big change. And just leave it the way it is. I will work around it. I like the framework. I have this little solar lamp of a hummingbird. I had no place to hang it. And then here I started going through my plants and this is sow thistle and I was gonna compost it. And I thought, why don't I just tie it to that? And then the goldfinches can come in and they can pick the seeds off. So what is going on here? I'm going to change up the table where the hummingbirds are. You probably can see them. I'm gonna change that up and I'm gonna start going through here. I have to be ruthless. I really, really do. I need to get rid of the rest of the sow thistle here and I'll tie that up. Here, so this is what started it. A few days ago, I went through and I had some purple bok choy I planted. And I planted it in here and of course, something came along. I don't know if it was a rodent. We have a weather change going, I'll talk about that in a second. I don't know if it was a rodent or a bird, but I got up in the morning and some of them were chewed up. And I thought, no, 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 this isn't gonna happen. So I only had the long stakes here. I should have used short ones, but I had four long ones, stuck them in there. And you know how I love my totes? You can make holes. I put two holes. We'll get into that another time underneath and some holes on the top. And then this way, when I put the stakes there, whatever sticks I'm gonna use, I can decide which holes I want. The holes are already there. It's not hurting the tote and it's ready to go. I ended up using the ones that were underneath the rim and I put in some zip ties right now. Zip tied it around. This was a few days ago and guess what? Mm -mm. Whatever was bothering it is gone. So now my purple bok choy should do really, really good there. I'm very excited. So that's kind of what started all this. And then I started looking around and it's like, let's go this way. And I've got all these walking onions I'm trying to plant. Look at that. And then I've got walking onions in here. I love the tool. The system I'm doing now with the tool has been fantastic. I just lift it up and plant them everywhere. I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. But I've got the onions I've got to pull out and all that, and I've got all this here, and I thought, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've got all this space. You just step out, you get what you want, and I thought, no. And that's why I decided there's gonna be a big change. So I'm gonna go through each tote, and then here I've got a couple ideas of what I'm gonna set up. I can set up a chair. Plus I can put some chairs here to sit, and this way, if the sun is in my face, I can turn the chair. You can't really turn the swing. And I'll fix this up as it goes. I'm hoping you'll come back, maybe in a week, and see what it looks like and see if I can be ruthless enough to change all this. The sink has been fantastic. I absolutely love it. I don't know how much you saw in the last one, but I can drain everything out of there. I've got a pipe there and I can either catch it in the watering can, or as you see, I put some collar leaves in there. I can catch it that way. That dips in there, I dip the water, and I'm feeding my plants all the time. So see the hummingbirds are here? And I wanna change this up. I've got a bird stand, an old bird stand. I'm gonna put that probably there, get rid of all this. And then maybe I'll widen the rail a little bit. I can just hammer some wood on or a tote lid or something. Get rid of the wooden stand, I don't need that and make it more convenient for the birds as well. I wanna get hummingbird feeders hung here. So if it is raining, they can feed underneath. This is just a little holder. I can put a hummingbird feeder in there, which I've done. And then see, there's my seeds. I stick them out the window, some of them. Some of them, let me see if I can zoom in for a minute. See that even, I even have some hummingbird 
trees growing in there? Well, I a lot of times I just keep them in the house on the windowsill. They're doing fantastic. Oh, I see I have to fill the hummingbird feeders here again. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. The tomatillos will stay because they're ripening up now. We're using them now. Once they're done, they're done. Of course, the tricolored sage is just so excited and happy, I can see, because look at all the new growth coming through here. So that's gonna stay. This is gonna get lifted up. This is kind of a makeshift thing I made out of a tote lid. Don't really need that now. I just need to get it up and put a little tool around it. That's another broccoli, because this is a broccoli, by the way. So I'm gonna go through here and then decide what I'm gonna keep. There's really nothing in here. This one's got garlic chives and walking onions and there's more parsley, and I can clean this up. Oh, sow thistle everywhere. This is what the birds eat. And I can tie it up there, what I did there. And I can clean this up, and now in here, I can get anything I want. I've got parsley's already growing in there, but I can clear this up and maybe put my cabbage. I've got some cabbage started. It doesn't matter. I want to do some green Swiss chard. I've got some here. Look at all the beautiful seeds. All I have to do is grab the seeds and toss them. This I'm going to leave. This is all baby parsley coming up, but this has got a lot of parsley coming up. I'm going to leave that walking onions. It will kind of give me much more room to do what I want to do instead of what I've been doing. And I can change this around. This was never supposed to stay here. It's done really well. Look at the peppers full in here. Being up against the house, I think there's even more. There's a lettuce there too. Do you know what this is? Not funny. That's the turmeric skin I put out there. Now this is a weed. I don't need that. But this is turmeric. I put a piece of skin there and look at the turmeric's growing. And then here I've got the basil. I've got a tomato plant. I don't know if the tomato plant will make it. I've been sticking walking onions in there, so they're taking off pretty good. And then I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep and bother with the tomatoes or take these down and just take from the garden because I have tomato plants everywhere. So I wanted to kind of show you a before because this will be a four before. And maybe in a couple weeks it will really be more functional. Go through all my black floral pots down there. The ones that have holes, either get them out in the garden or plant in them up here and clear it all out. And it will, like I said, it'll be far more functional. And then maybe get some compost in place, containers in here as well. Then I can catch the water and feed the plants. Even here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I've got multiple layers of pots. This is more sow thistle. This is walking onions. Now the walking onions have been great. I used them last night. I needed walking onions for something. I think I made some soup. I came out here and grabbed a whole bunch and chopped them up. So that was great. I can't have too many walking onions, but I don't need all this stuff. I don't need a ton of purslane, though I will tell you, I am making a lot of purslane tea these days. It's so healthy. So I could work around the purslane. It's probably gonna die back as the weather gets cooler. And then the mint. I wanna see if I can keep the mint alive too because I can have mint tea all winter. And that's basically it. So let's see what happens in a couple weeks. Let's see if I can clean this place up and get this more functional. And then back here too, I kinda of have to really go through like what's in there. Just some walking onions, an old Swiss chard. I don't need all this. Get this one maybe gutted. Go through and get all my dill seeds. I did take a little, dill, a lot of dill seeds off the other day and file them away. And then get this functional because yeah, it is right now. I walk through and I can get some red vein sorrel and there's some Swiss chard there. There's mint down there. Of course, there's moringa here growing in a small pot. But I think I can do a hundred times better if I put a little effort in. And then like I said, all winter, I wanna cater more to the hummingbirds too because as we go into winter, we get more hummingbirds, more than what we have now, because they come here and a lot of them stay here for the winter. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna get this all catered to them and then have more shelter for them so they can be under the eaves if we get rain. Look at the weather. It's supposed to be really windy. And instead, it looks like it's gonna rain, so I don't know. So let's see what happens. Come back in about two weeks. Look at this, I still have the spinach coming up. There, this is the um, the other spinach. Oh, Malabar spinach, and then this is green sorrel. I'm not real thrilled about that. But see, this is an old Swiss chard. That's why I wanna get new Swiss chard growing, because new Swiss chard always tastes better. 
So let's see what happens in a couple weeks. This I definitely will leave. She's been getting broccoli off of that. I don't think there's any broccoli on here right now because she ate a whole bunch this morning while I was working. Here's a little bit of broccoli. Kitty, did you want broccoli? Kitty, kitty. She might be behind me. I don't know where she is. Kitty. Okay, she went back in the house. Oh, no. There's one more piece of broccoli you didn't get. She says, I've had so much. Oh, there it is. Got it? She sure does. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. Say bye-bye. Come back in a couple weeks. See what it looks like. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.